Hi everyone, I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Here's your political news roundup for Tuesday, July 2nd. The pressure to leave office is mounting on Egypt's President Mohamed Morsi. A crowd estimated at up to a million people crowded Cairo's Tahrir Square for what was by and large a peaceful demonstration against Morsi and calling for new elections. The country's military joined that call this week, turning its back on Morsi and saying that if its demands are not met by Wednesday, it will impose its own roadmap for the future. Morsi rejected that call, setting up a showdown tomorrow. A United Nations spokesman called the situation in Egypt extremely tense and urged all the involved groups to negotiate. The scene was Dar es Salaam, Tanzania today, as former President George W. Bush joined President Barack Obama for a solemn ceremony. The presidents joined in a moment of silence at a monument for the victims of the 1998 U.S. Embassy bombing in that African country. That bombing, along with another embassy bombing the same day in Kenya, were attributed to al-Qaeda and its then-leader Osama bin Laden. Together, the bombings killed 224 people, including 12 Americans. The event marked the end of President Obama's week-long visit to Africa. Ecuador and at least seven other countries are saying no to NSA secret leaker Edward Snowden's asylum request. But one South American country is holding out hope for sanctuary. Venezuela's President Nicolas Maduro told reporters in Russia that his country has not received an asylum request from Snowden, but he said the former systems analyst told a great truth in an effort to prevent wars, and he deserves protection under international and humanitarian law. The U.S. has charged Snowden with espionage and theft for disclosing information about the NSA's secret surveillance of American citizens. Snowden is believed to be staying at the Moscow airport, awaiting word on his asylum. And the Rights and Responsibilities Tour is underway for former Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords and her husband Mark Kelly. The couple is in Alaska today after starting the tour Monday in Nevada. They're targeting states whose senators voted against weapons restrictions and background checks last April. The couple presents themselves as gun owners and supporters of the Second Amendment. In fact, Giffords shot a pistol at a weapons range today, the first time she'd fired a weapon since the day she was wounded by a gunman during a constituent event in her home state of Arizona. Their advocacy group, Americans for Responsible Solutions, was formed in the aftermath of the Sandy Hook Elementary School shootings last December. That's your political news roundup for Tuesday, July 2nd. I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Stay logged on to rttnews.com for the latest political, economic, and stock market news from around the world all day long.